Hello and welcome to the continuing build of the Svensson Jungmeister. So having installed the wing servos, the Aerolon servos, um, threading through the extension leads and ensuring that they're heat shrunk on so they don't come adrift, it's time to start applying the Mod Podge um, to the wing. And I've found that the most effective way to do that is to add two coats quite liberally. You can see that I'm not holding back, quite liberally applied. So you do that, let it dry. And then when it's dry, you can come back days later, hours later, it doesn't really matter. When it's dried, I can then reactivate this glue by using an iron. And that's obviously much easier than doping directly through the material. It can get rather messy. I have done that when in the past I've experimented with nylon, which produces an extremely strong covering, which adds a great deal of structural strength. However, it's, it is a very messy process to apply. So in this method, I simply... Paint the Mod Podge around the edges and then let it dry and then it's simply a case of adding the fabric on and ironing it on and I'll come back to that when this part is finished. So we're all set to go now. What I've done is I've prepared the wing and um, putting those two coats of Mod Podge on and allowing them to dry. In fact it was a few days ago now and we're ready to start uh, tacking down the polyester to the lower wing panel. The iron sets are about three quarters of the way around. It's much higher than I would normally use if I was putting on some solar film, for example, but that seems to work. The panel has been cut with the weave running parallel to the longer side of the wing structure. So this is the, uh, my way of doing it. I'm sure it's not the only way. But I thought I would demonstrate it and you can see how it goes. So the first thing I always do, checking that there's enough on the length, is to apply a little heat. Clean the iron. Apply a little heat to tack down one side. And that's taken nicely. Put a little bit of tension in, not too much and apply at the opposite end. Yeah, that's taken. And then what I normally do, without putting any strain on the weave itself, is to apply some heat the centre point, and that's taken. And the centre point on the opposite surface, I'm adding a little bit of tension there, not much. There you go. And then what I normally do is without pulling it out of shape, I try to just go in between every point that I've just added heat. So it becomes increasingly tacked on to the wing surface. Now I have seen some people, their approach is to tack the whole leading edge and then pull the covering back. I'm sure that works, it's just not the way I'm used to normally doing it. So I've tacked it there and now I'm putting a little bit of tension on and tacking it on the opposite side. Into this corner here without twisting the weave out of shape. Apply a little heat so that it bonds. Pull a little bit of tension in, not much, a little bit of tension in and put the opposite in, on the opposite side rather. All the way around, in between the last point that I've applied heat, in the centre point, and then pull it across, keeping the weave straight, applying heat to the edge, all the way around. And that's the way I'm going to go around this whole panel until the panel is totally tacked and then I'll lap it round 
and finish it off and I'll show you the next stage when I'm when I'm there just to demonstrate here um, the cloth will pull around compound curves really well so I'll apply some heat put a little bit of pressure on and it's stretching really rather well around that end tip which is really great there you go so it's ironed on and sealed on all the way around and the next stage is to get a really sharp scalpel so every time I do uh, a wing I'll change the blade so any major piece of covering change the blade uh, and if it, this goes blunt you will just tear the fabric it doesn't work well at all so the intention is to go all the way around this trim off the excess and then I'm going to take it outside because it, not even my long suffering wife will put up with the smell of dope in the house and I'll seal what I've actually uh, attached to the frame and then when the heat supply to the outer panel the upper panel through the dope, the dope reactivates and bonds the two panels together. So I'll get on and I'll trim this up and the next stage I'll show you what it looks like when it's all sealed around the edges with the dope as well. So it's all been ironed down now and it's ready for a coat of uh, full strength non-shrinking dope around the edges just to make doubly sure belt and braces style that this is sealed i'll also seal carefully around this area which will be cut out for the aileron servo um, and then when that's done up a panel then shrinking with the heat gun and you will notice there are a number of wrinkles but i'm not concerned about those at all because i'm confident that they will come out where when the heat gun is applied next stage so here we go I've sealed all of, the, of this now with the dope all the way around hope you can see that it's sealed all the way around and the next stage is do the top panel and once that's been covered because it's just a repeat of this process I'll bring you back when I'm about to put the heat on to remove the wrinkles which you may be able to see on this covering. So it's all on, sealed around the edges and now all it requires is the application of the heat gun to shrink it tight. Now you can see there are a number of quite gnarly creases in there. Let's see how it goes when I apply the heat. Keeping it moving. Middle of the panels to begin with. And then move to the edges when it begins to glow tight. Coming out, they're both coming out really nicely. This one's a little bit concerning. That's it, it's gone. It's quite dramatic when it goes. So that's the upper panel shrunk just with the application of heat. I'll put a little bit more on, and then what I'm going to do outside once again is give it a coat of shrinking dope, which will get it that drum tight feel that I want before I apply the sealing coat of clear varnish. Up a panel done. 
need to take them out. Okay, now the lower panel to do. completed ready for doping once again outside to get it nice and drum tight a little bit there happy with that there you go one panel completed and there you go that's one coat of quite quite thin down shrinking dope and subsequent coats that will come will be um, clear polyurethane varnish which I think gives a nice finish ready for an application of paint. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Um, it's my experience using this. It is a little bit fiddly. It's obviously not as straightforward as using iron-on film um, that you buy commercially. But needs must, and I think it's a very economical solution to the issue of a big model that needs to be covered. And also, it's very comparable to commercially produced iron on film. So, get flying if you can. Not much ch chance of that in the northeast of England at the moment with the wind. But if you can't, let's get creative and do some modelling. Bye for now.